And then, you just do it once, there. You have this. And that needs to be left. Does that make sense? Do it again. Yes, do you have a second ching? No, you don't have a second ching, so it's ding, ka ching, ding. Hi, I'm Ian Troll, and I'm 18 years old. I'm a senior at Des Moines Christian High School. Before I was in Victory Choir, I didn't really know how to sing in a choir setting. I knew I could sing um, well on my own, but Victory Choir uh, taught me how to uh, really sing together with other people and uh, just improved how much I, I know about music. Uh, Victory Choir has got, uh, given me a lot of different experiences. Um, I've been involved in singing Valentine's for the last four years, which is where we go around the community and we sing to uh, people that order singing Valentine's. So we'll sing to uh, a girl's husband if, if she wants us to and, and crazy stuff like that. Um, we sing for different basketball games and sporting events. We sing the national anthem. Um, we sung at uh, nursing homes for, for the elderly and uh, yeah just a, a bunch of different experiences. And, and on TV. <laughs> yeah multiple, a couple times on TV. So that was fun. Yeah everybody loves it. Um, all the students involved, we get to be really close by the end of the year. Um, we build a lot of relationships that we maybe wouldn't otherwise have. Um, sometimes it's just because I'm a senior and that person's a freshman, um, but we get to know each other pretty well. Hi, my name is Joy Augustine and I'm the Vocal Music Director at Des Moines Christian School. I have the pleasure of directing Victory Choir, which is a select a cappella group filled with 9th through 12th graders who audition and they get to sing all over the place. Um, I believe Victory was started by Mr. Grosson when he, nope, actually Rick Taylor. Um, it's been around I think since the beginning of, of school, since Des Moines Christian School started years ago. And they come into audition, they have a song prepared, a solo of sorts that shows off their voice, and then um, I do a couple exercises with their range and um, do some ear testing and um, just harmony testing to make sure they can retain their own pitch and sight reading, and then I post the list on the, the, tw the 30th. Uh, the Victory really, from what I know, they really, really enjoy being a part of Victory. Uh, while, yes, rehearsals are at 7 a.m. a couple mornings a week, and it's early, um, we come and, I mean, this week we've learned one piece of music, and it's exciting because they, they get to sing more challenging music and music that's harder, and so they're challenged as well. And we get to sing all over the place. Um, we sang for Simon Estes just this last week. Um, we get to sing at Christmas and go out. We do contests. Well, we do singing Valentines, and we just stay busy all year. Graduation too, so more training and more knowledge of, of sight reading, sight singing, um, and then really honestly about how to blend with different styles of music and with different voices, and really learning to maintain their own their own music and their own parts. And it's just four or five steps up from what we do in choir, and we get to do lots of different types of genres that we don't get to do in choir too. So it's really fun. Um, so. The biggest thing for me when students audition is that they can maintain their own pitch. Um, we do a lot of songs where there are multiple harmonies right next to each other and there's a lot of dissonance. And so if you come in and you've got a pretty pretty good voice and you read music fairly well and you can maintain your own, you have a higher likelihood of making it than you know being a really good singer and not really understanding how to read music or how to maintain your own pitch. So I'm all about well-rounded musicians, not necessarily the best singer or the best whatever. 
A lot of times throughout the year, um, I'll get emails or phone calls from different locations that are looking for entertainment. Uh, this year, during our Singing Valentine's fundraiser, uh, one of the news stations, KCWI, have, has their Great Day show, and they had a wedding live on TV and needed some music. And so they called and said, hey, we heard you have Singing Valentine's. Could we borrow some kids? And so one of our quartets got to go sing at a wedding on TV, and just different opportunities like that singing in nursing homes or at different events and Victory is kind of that ensemble that gets to go out and represent the school and so they're known and uh, hopefully that reputation can precede us and more people would be interested in having us. Hello, I am Michael Wheeler. I love Victory so much. I encourage everyone to try out and do it. What? All right? Yeah, you know, get me like right when I'm finishing it. My name is John Norris and I love Victory. Oh, my name is Rachel Reamer Schneider and I love Victory. Sometimes.